Good afternoon. The Prime Minister, Boris Johnson, has tested positive for coronavirus and is self-isolating in Downing Street. Number 10 said the Prime Minister had been tested on the personal advice of the Chief Medical Officer after he began displaying mild symptoms yesterday. Mr Johnston posted a video on Twitter saying that thanks to modern technology, he would be able to continue leading the national fight back against coronavirus. The number of confirmed cases of COVID-19 in America is now higher than in any other country in the world. Latest figures show there are now more than 85,000 cases in the US. There are nearly 82,000 in China. More than 200 deaths have been recorded in New York, a third of the country's virus-related fatalities. Unemployment has risen to an all-time high as the virus spreads, but President Trump claimed the figures would improve as soon as the virus was beaten. I think we'll come back very strong the sooner we get back to work. You know, every day that we stay out, it gets harder to bring it back very quickly. Uh, and our people don't want to stay out. So I, I know those numbers, John, but I think you'll see a very fast turnaround once we have a victory over the, uh, the hidden enemy, as I say. It's a hidden enemy. People sleeping on the streets should all be housed by the weekend. The government has reportedly asked all local authorities to house homeless people and those in unsafe accommodation during the national lockdown. The housing charity Crisis, which revealed the government's plan, said it was a landmark move and the right thing to do. A million home testing kits could be sent out in a matter of weeks, according to public health officials. The kits could allow those who have already had the virus to return to their normal routines. Medical Director of Public Health England has confirmed that plans are in place for a blood test that could be done at home and sent to labs for analysis. Guidance for health workers on personal protective equipment is expected to be updated within days. There have been calls for greater clarity on PPE as frontline staff deal with coronavirus. Health authorities across the UK say the equipment, which also includes items like gloves and gowns, should only be worn if patients have suspected symptoms or have been diagnosed with coronavirus. That's the news. We'll see you at 7.